Hello you guys and welcome back to this week's video. If you guys are new here, my name is Nicolina and in today's video, I have styled eight different Thanksgiving Day outfits. So for this week's video, I have styled eight outfits all ranging from fancy, nice, to super comfortable, cozy lounge wear outfits that are still acceptable for Thanksgiving Day. I know I usually do about five outfits a video, but I figured since this is probably going to be the last fall type of outfits video for this year, I'm probably just going to start full-blown winter outfits. I thought I'd sprinkle in a few extra outfits for you guys, but I wanted to be realistic when it came to styling these outfits, especially main priority in mind being comfort. Now, when it comes to Thanksgiving, I know there's a huge range of what you should wear. Some families like to go all out and dress to the nines and be super fancy and look super put together, and I love that, but on the other hand, some families like to just be super comfortable, cozy, lounge wear, and that's it. And some families, like mine, like to come dressed nice, but we usually end up in comfortable wear. And that it being Thanksgiving, you usually do want to be super comfortable. You're going to be eating, you're going to just be around your family, you're probably just going to be in your house, but you still want to look cute and presentable because you're probably going to be taking pictures with your family as well. So I have curated the perfect outfits for you guys to help you figure out what to wear for this Thanksgiving day. But let's not ramble on any longer and let's get into the outfits. I wanted to start off and preface by saying that I have been sick all week with a cold. Today is probably the first day that I'm feeling my best all week. And it is Saturday, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pull myself together, get ready, and get this video in for you guys because I really did not want to miss a week because I feel like I've been super consistent and I want to keep up with that. But if I sound a little congested or nasally, it's because I am. I'm sick and I also can't hear out of my left ear because I'm, again, congested. But to start, Look how cute these pajamas are, you guys. These are Target pajamas. The Target loungewear pajama section has been popping off, so I bought a couple things. I think I'm gonna do a little reel for you guys. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go and do that. I'm gonna I have a couple ideas of things that I'll probably do in reels that won't make it to YouTube because they're just probably better off in short form content. So if you want to follow me, make sure to go and do that. It's down in the description box for you guys. If you want to do that, it's the first link. As you can see, I have all of my outfits laid out for you guys. So this is going to be a fun whirlwind of filming because it's a lot. So like I said, I have a range of nicer, cuter, more smart, casual outfits down to just cute, comfy loungewear. But all equally comfortable for Thanksgiving. So let's get into outfit number one. All right, you guys, here is outfit number one. When I was doing my little Pinterest browsing, which I will throw up my inspo for all of today's outfits now, so you can kind of see the gist of where I was going with this. And one of the main ones that I saw that was probably my favorite was a maxi silk slip skirt with a oversized sweater on top. Now I haven't found a silk skirt that I've liked yet, but I'm probably going to be hopefully getting a black skirt very, very soon. I'm going to do like a big winter shop, which will probably be a video for you guys. But I've improvised and I just threw on my little maxi dress. So it's a full dress and it is a skim stoop off of Amazon. It's just this really nice lightweight material in this nice heather gray color. And I love a little gray on gray moment that are two different shades of gray. I feel like it's really pretty and gray is a huge color right now going into the winter. I thought it was really, really cute. And this sweater you guys have seen in previous videos before as well. It's probably one of my favorite sweaters is H&M. I love it. It's super comfy and I love just the fit of it and the little slits up the side. It's very Scandinavian vibes, old money vibes. And this is so comfortable. You could eat as much as you want. You're not even going to be able to tell. You don't have to unbutton your jeans because it's just too uncomfortable. I could probably sleep in this and be good to go. It is so comfy, but yet 
so cute and simple and super put together i'm not gonna lie um i just paired it with you guys see i paired it with my just plain white platform trainers from steve madden i wanted to keep it very simple and then kind of contrast with a little black underarm bag i feel like it kind of just brings the outfit together a little bag with a big outfit like this not a big outfit but an over, more oversized not so form-fitting outfit i love kind of either throwing on a little under the arm baguette bag or maybe a crossbody bag it kind of just brings the outfit in cinches it in a little bit and puts it together i've kept my jewelry very simple just went with some little gold hoops regular necklace and my everyday rings you can obviously accessorize as you please but this is so comfortable yet so chic and very much put together so if you have that crazy aunt that comes around and wants to take pictures every two seconds you are set to go and it doesn't matter whether it's before you've eaten or after you can eat as much as you want because this oversized sweater you're not seeing nothing oh did i say this is my little jacquemus bag that i love super tiny cute i love outfits like this especially a I guess maybe for certain families I do like to dress a little bit more modesty modestly for family occasions so I feel like if you do as well this is a great option for you ah, trapped in my plant <laughs> okay you guys here is outfit number two I love this outfit I feel like it gives off the same vibe as the first outfit very simple minimal Scandinavian girl maybe a little old money but I've thrown in some pants instead with a, a cute little oversized sweater a scarf and I've mixed it up with my black loafers to go with my two-toned black leather and rattan bag I really have been loving this kind of color palette for outfits because it matches but it's not like exact matching but it still goes in a way um i also love the juxtapi ju juxtapication of fabrics we have the nice lightweight linen oversized pants that are just so comfortable they're just little drawstring ones oh my gosh let's not knock over my coffee so super lightweight super comfortable you're not going to feel too congested or suffocated wearing them and then a nice little wool maybe more like cashmere-esque sweater again both h&m love that and then an oversized knit scarf i love this scarf this is from Madewell. I love it. It's super warm. It's great. I am so warm in this outfit. I did look at the weather here on the East Coast for Thanksgiving, and it's going to be sunny, but it's still going to be 40 degrees. So you never know. That could be a warm 40 degrees or a cold 40. It, it depends. So I feel like having something like this where it's kind of in the middle, you can't go wrong. Um, and then a two-tone bag. I have been loving this because I feel like it just really pulls together an outfit and I love with a light outfit having darker details kind of contrast everything it's really nice it's really pleasing to the eye so throwing on a black shoe with some black detailing in a bag with a light neutral colored outfit is really really nice um so i just have these cute little sam edelman platform loafers and then this bag is my amazon bag of course i've shown it in videos before love it maybe take this scarf off as well to show you guys because you're not gonna wear the scarf inside super simple chic minimal outfit that is still so comfortable so cozy you're gonna be comfortable no matter what this is my second version of it if you're not really into skirts i love mixing and matching pants and skirt outfits for people who prefer pants or for people who prefer skirts so if you prefer pants here you go can't go wrong love okay let's go to outfit number three all right you guys we have outfit number three this one is definitely a little bit more dressy form-fitting i tried to switch it up with the silhouettes a little bit for people who don't necessarily like always oversized this wouldn't be my first go-to outfit to wear because it is more of a cropped sweater but i just love 
bringing in warm neutral colors for Thanksgiving. I feel like that is the last chance we have to have all these nice dark warm colors before winter time where I kind of just want to have it either be black or like white creams, light grays and stuff like that. So I've brought in my favorite go-to dark chocolate brown wide leg pleated trousers from Abercrombie. These are amazing. Trousers are super comfortable so I honestly would be very comfortable sitting down, eating, wearing these for a long periods of time. They're stretchy, they have a lot of give to them, but they are super cute. So you can't go wrong. I have not used, I haven't, none of my outfits have jeans in them. So if you're trying to look for a Thanksgiving day outfit that doesn't have jeans but you're really struggling to come up with an outfit, then this video is for you basically because none of these outfits have jeans. This cute little cable knit cropped sweater in this cream color that I love is also from H&M, I believe, um, in the, I think it's divided, which I always forget if that is H&M or the small business Dom and Luna that I used to buy from, but either way, love it. It's super lightweight, comfortable, and I love the color of it. I especially love putting this color with brown. I feel like they just go together really nicely. And then I have my dark brown suede boots from Steve Madden. These are so comfortable and cute, and they really elevate this outfit, I feel like, because it is a super simple outfit. I haven't layered much. I decided to throw on some heels with it just to really liven it up and make it a little bit cuter and more fancy. And then I just went ahead and paired my also dark brown um, leather Cartier vintage bag with this cute little gold detailing. Again, kind of same idea with the grays. I love having just different shades of brown, but then because I have so many different dark shades of brown, I wanted to contrast it with a light colored top because again, it just really pops. It is more pleasing to the eye compared to if I were to wear a, like say maybe a light brown or like a beige top, it wouldn't look as nice with the dark browns. So yeah, that's definitely one key thing that I like, tip that I wanna put out. Contrast the colors, it works every time, so yeah. Okay you guys, here is outfit number four, probably one of the most casual outfits that I have, which I know it doesn't look that casual just yet, but I love it. This is my monochrome kind of gray look, and I went ahead and did my little contrast trick and threw on a black bag, and then I just have some white New Balances on. I love this outfit because it is so simple, so comfortable, so easy but yet so elevated because underneath the base layer outfit is very, very casual, but simply thrown on with a longer kind of blazer coat with a nice bag and even with a simple shoe, it looks very put together. So we have here just some comfy wide leg or more kind of flare heather gray leggings um, or pants with this little crossover here. I'm pretty sure these are Amazon. And then just a, here, let me take this off. I'm also not sure which way I like it better, crossbody or on the arm like this is better, but I also have this just simple light gray long sleeve on. I honestly can't remember where I got this long sleeve top from. If I do remember and find it, I will leave it in the description box for you guys, along with everything else that I'm wearing that has a link to it still. Um, I love this little base outfit here. It's super comfortable, easy, casual if you're just chilling with the family, no expectations, everyone's kind of just casual, comfy. This outfit is great. I just went ahead and threw on this gray kind of wool long blazer cardigan. Um, this is from Zara last year. I 
haven't had a chance to wear it because I literally bought it and then it was at the end of like the winter season so I went ahead and threw it in the storage closet and completely forgot about it all last year and recently found it so now I'm going to wear the heck out of it this year because it's so cute and I love it and I feel like it can really elevate any outfit just because of how nice and kind of more business smart it is with the little lapels here it's super cute and i like it and it's very comfortable as well um and then yeah just like i said um my mom actually i convinced her to get some new balances so she went ahead and got the same ones as me the 550s just in this nice white shoe which is perfect because me and her are the same size shoe so i will be selling these a lot mom just so you know <laughs> but yeah so here is outfit number four, a little more casual, little gray monochrome outfit. Super easy, super cute. And let's move on to outfit number five. Okay, you guys, we have outfit number five, probably one of my most favorites. I don't know what it is about this combo because none of the colors match. And I have all different textures happening, but yet somehow they all seamlessly just come together and work perfectly. And I feel like most women out there probably have all these items in their closet you just don't know it and when you put them together it just creates the cutest outfit ever i feel very mature almost a little millennial but not in a bad way love it love a little mature modest but super cute and if not i would call this outfit sexy i mean like it's cute like i feel good in it and i would totally wear this to thanksgiving with the fam like love love all the different textures happening the different fabrics the colors it's great so we have a silk white button-up blouse this is from zara i believe and then we have this little maxi denim skirt with this slit up the middle and i know i said i didn't create any outfits with jeans but this skirt does not count as regular jeans because the, there is no waistband and it's it's super stretchy i honestly i'm not a skirt person and i definitely not a huge fan of denim because of how restricting it is but this skirt is so comfortable to wear and it has so much give to it and there's no buttons or anything that's going to be digging into you or a waistband that's too high you can wear it low you can wear it midi you can wear it high rise however you prefer and there's no there, i mean there is no belt button loops but i hate that extra little inch that sits up like that and you can't really decide where you want it to sit on you sometimes but this this is a loophole <laughs> basically and i love it i feel like this outfit is super fall so cute it just absolutely adorable um and then we have my high knee black suede boots from mark fisher so cute and yet very comfortable slight heel so it elevates the outfit a little bit and then i've gone ahead and added my pop of red with my coach bag that i love i feel like adding a little pop of red to this outfit very much elevates it because it is a very simple outfit and if i wore a white bag to match the top then i feel like it really wouldn't contrast well or go well with the outfit or if i wore a black bag with the black boots it would kind of be a little bit boring so i thought adding in a pop of red would be a fun way to add in a little color and still elevate the outfit it's very pleasing to the eye this outfit i don't know what it is about it but it's very simple yet so chic and very very cute i love this i think it's adorable I love this outfit, but let's move on to outfit number six. All right, you guys, we have outfit number six and probably the most comfortable outfit out of all the outfits, and that is a full matching skims set in this super comfortable, cozy, furry fabric. Now, you may be singing, saying that these are, these are pajamas. Yes, I know. But when you wear them all together like this and style it, and you have your cute little jewelry on, you throw in a cute little bag and your little lugs, 
it's an outfit people okay this is definitely for more the type of people whose family is just chill they just hang out they sit by the fire they're laying on the couch you're watching movies you're snacking all day not really taking pictures just quality family time this is also probably the outfit where people are coming to your house and you are the host and so you're running around making food getting everything ready cleaning this is the outfit and that is usually what happens to me is everyone comes to my house for thanksgiving so I just thought when you have an all matching outfit like this, it's still very put together, but it does not take a lot of thought. You're running late or whatever. You've only had time to put your hair, get do your hair and put your makeup on. You didn't have time to think of an outfit and you gotta just throw something on. Something like this, an all matching three piece outfit like this is the way to go. And it's still super cute put together. Like I said, this is all skims. Um, I went on a big kick when she first came out and this is just her classic Teddy um, collection. This is the, um, the zip up hoodie that I got. This is probably the first skims item that I, that I got and I, love it it's definitely my favorite and then the matching little tank and long pants which are huge on me but they're very comfortable if you're just wearing it around the house and then i just threw on my little uggs with of course the cute little louis bag like i do went with a black bag instead to contrast with the outfit I honestly feel like as long as you style it right, you throw on a bunch of jewelry, this outfit is very cute and put together and ultimately just really comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, so let's move on to outfit number seven. We're almost at the end. <laughs> All right, you guys, for the second to last outfit, we have gone for a style that I've not really touched at all, and I really don't know what to call it. There's a lot of juxtaposition, oh my gosh, why can't I say that word? Juxtaposition happening in this outfit. Um, the base layer is very girly. We have this cute maxi skirt with another little slit up the middle and these cute little buttons going up it as well this was from a boutique in my local mall and that's not around anymore so i can't really link it for you guys but if i find something similar i will and then i've gone ahead and thrown on my urban outburst top that i've been wearing a lot lately that i love so we have very light neutral kind of more soft girly base outfit um, with some ballet flats, my little ballet flats here from Zara. And of course, my cute little coach white and pink bag. I feel like match very well, but then to dress it down a little bit, bring it back to earth a little bit, I've thrown on my new thrifted oversized denim jacket that I have been obsessed with lately. I love it so much. It's just the perfect oversized denim jacket i thought this would be great to kind of really tone it down and really contrast from the original outfit because for me it's just a little too soft a little too light a little too feminine for my personal liking so throwing on a jacket like this really kind of tones it down brings it all together brings it back a little bit for me the base outfit is more skin tight so i thought having a big oversized jacket as well kind of balanced it out nicely and i love it i wouldn't normally reach for these items to put together but i think it came out really really cute so i can't complain i really really like it and i would definitely wear this for thanksgiving i think it's so cute very comfortable comfortable this skirt is elastic so it does have a lot of give to it i am risking it with you know a nice little white top but it's up to you guys if you're willing to take that risk for thanksgiving um so yeah i really like this outfit but let's move on to the final outfit all right you guys and here we have the final outfit i've decided to try a new little layering thing happening here i still have not bought the black trousers yet that i have been talking about for forever um i went in store actually to our new abercrombie store that is gorgeous and they did not carry the curve love collection in store so i am going to be ordering it online i'm honestly just waiting for a black friday sale or a good deal to come up and i'm gonna place a probably pretty big abercrombie 
order, but I've decided to just go ahead and pair it with these little flowy loungewear pants. I don't hate this look. It's probably not one of my favorites, but I feel like it's something different to go with. And I feel like I've also seen a lot of girls styling a oversized kind of polo shirt like this with a white button up underneath. And I thought it was so cute. So I thought I'd give it a try. But underneath, I just have a oversized white button up from Mango in a cotton material instead of a silk one. And then I actually thrifted this Ralph Lauren polo oversized, it's actually a men's crew neck and I really really like it. I love the color of it, this nice dark gray. Um, and then I just went ahead and paired it with this tiny little black baguette bag that I'm pretty sure I got from Urban Outdoors. This is the label. I got this bag a while ago, but it has this really nice croc crocodile, it's fake obviously, um, texture to it that I thought was really nice to add in to this outfit and then these flowy lounge pants are actually from Target and they're really comfortable they have pockets they're really just a nice throw on casual pant and honestly I don't think anyone would know that they're like kind of a pajama pant to begin with and I've been wearing it as just a regular daytime kind of slouchy regular pant anyway and I really like them they're so so comfortable they're great for Thanksgiving a lot of give any wide leg pant for Thanksgiving is gonna be a win no matter what so I've paired all that together and then I just threw on the white new balances again because I thought they it would match and tie in with the white button-up really well and then obviously contrast with the black bag we have a fun different kind of you know ombre type of thing going on I wouldn't monochrome but like not like you have white dark gray and black so it's like a bunch of different shades of non colors really if you think about it <laughs> yeah this is the final outfit those are all the outfits that I have for you today can you tell that my hair has progressively gotten less and less curly throughout this video <laughs> Um, but yeah, I actually have to go help my mom prepare for Thanksgiving right now. We have a lot of people coming, staying over. We have to get some things ready to go, start preparing food. But I hope you guys have an amazing, happy, healthy Thanksgiving. And you eat a lot of really, really good food. And you have a really, really cute outfit. <laughs> But yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some inspo for what you're gonna wear for this Thanksgiving. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below which outfit was your favorite and you plan on getting inspo from and maybe wearing for this Thanksgiving. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in Vlogmas.